Hello everybody, welcome back to another video of Heroes of the Storm. Today, in our How to Tank series, we are playing some Tyrael. Uh, now, Tyrael, in my personal opinion, is one of the weaker tanks here. Um, just due to the fact that his numbers aren't quite where the other tanks are. I do really like his kit, but his kit doesn't have the base qualities that you need in a tank. So if I pull up the tier, tier list here, we have Offensive, Defensive, and Hybrid. Um... Interior, I put him in the hybrid division. Now, I do think he's definitely more of an offensive hybrid tank, um, but he can be played defensively. So, when do you want to draft Tyrael? Let's say you're playing some Storm League, and you have an Illidan or a Greymane, who's going to be a very divey hero. Uh, you can draft Tyrael to support them, because they are squishy. You know, uh, Tracer is another good one. So that's a good time to draft Tyrael. Another good time to draft Tyrael is if you have, like, a Sergeant Hammer uh, who's kind of staying still and needs uh, the little extra shielding to protect her. Other than those two kind of comps, uh, I don't find myself picking Tyrael a lot. Tyrael's definitely a lot of fun to play, but he he's not quite what you need in a tank just to due to his lack of crowd control and... Uh, overall map game fight control. Um, but with that being said, he still can be a very effective tank. And when he's ahead, he is a nuisance to deal with. But when he's behind, he becomes a little weak. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and uh, jump to a game here and hopefully show you how to play some Tyrael. All right, we find ourselves on the Braxis holdout today. Uh, this is a decent map for Tyrael. Uh, just due to the fact that Tyrael is not a big fan of rotations. Uh, whenever Tyrael is rotating, it's typically to save an ally rather than gank an enemy. Uh, because his E empowers allies and grants them movement speed, it can help with chase down as well as run away in most instances. Now, this enemy team is actually a decent team for Tyrael to draft up against, but the friendly team is a horrible team for him to draft with due to the fact that I'm the only uh, melee hero. So I'm the only one frontlining, and w that combo with the fact that Tyrael has a low HP pool to begin with uh, is going to make my life a little bit harder. I pick up Justice for All at level 1, and if you remember, I said there's two ways to play Tyrael, kind of as a backline W spammer, and then also as a in-their-face uh, forward tank. We're going to be playing him as the backline uh, W spammer in this case here, trying to save our allies and peel to the best of our ability. You kind of peel uh, differently with Tyrael. So instead of positioning yourself to... Oh boy. Am I dead? Ooh, that was a lot of damage. But instead of positioning yourself to be the one getting comboed, kind of like, like I was there... Uh, you kind of posi position yourself to let your allies get hit, and then you save them with, with your abilities. Uh, so while we while we have these fights going on down here, also we have an AFK healer. That's very unfortunate. Uh, but ha while we have these fights down here, we want to make sure we're not the one getting focused it down here. Uh, additionally, that is a multi-shot Vala, so we don't have to be super careful about... Um, about getting her stacked or killing her for that matter. And right here, actually, uh, we can give our allies some movement speed as they go in and trying to kill that uh, butcher. But we are falling slowly and surely behind due to this AFK ally. I mentioned it in other videos, but I'm going to mention it again because it keeps happening. Uh, this is how all my games have gone. We've had uh, an AFK player. Or uh, a Krabby Pants. Does look like she's back though. So all is good in the world. We got a kill. Hopefully my allies can just retreat here. Uh, and we'll be fine. Oh no. I, I was looking elsewhere on the map. So you'll notice compared to Diablo. He is a big bad bully to us. For this whole game. He'll, he'll be a big bad bully. And there's not much we can do about it truthfully. Uh, not until level 13. That's the talent that we can can have a little bit of peels for my allies. So right now, really just trying to keep this Li Ming alive uh, any way possible. We did capture the objective, but only for a moment there. And with my healer down here, though, we could possibly re-engage. Nice pick up there by our Medivh. Uh, he's been playing very well thus far, so I give him props. 
Uh, placing my sword down so in the event that I'm the one getting comboed, I can teleport back to it. Um, while also just trying to be in the face of the enemy team. Gotta pick up Divine Vigor now. This will be a big talent for me just to heal a little bit. Uh, and then once again, teleporting with our, with our Q ability here. Taking this fight slow because uh, Lee Ming's the only way we get a kill here. But with Medivh hopping down here in bird form, there's a chance we get it else uh, in, in another way. Want to keep an eye on the medic's health pool right now. Because, um, or not health pool, but the medic's energy pool. It's it's getting very low, so now would be a great time for us to fight. Uh, good protections by Medivh there. And I'm co totally cool to take this fight, as I mentioned just a second ago. Uh, we'll go ahead and get on this back line. That is one thing that Tyrion thrives at. Uh, he's excellent at bullying uh, squishy targets. You can see there, not the biggest hitbox in the game, but we have so much movement speed, we're able to uh, body block a little bit. That's a uh, an essential tool that a tank player needs to know is how to body block. Uh, I might even do a full video on how to body block later, maybe at the end of the series. Uh, just because it is a little technical on how to do it, and I can just make it a YouTube short, so I'll probably do that. Uh, go ahead and healing off of our autos here on these minions. And uh, just keeping an eye on the map for these enemies. Are once again getting uh, another cap rolling out here, but with it just being my, my healer and I, uh, we're going to try to just escort her out by getting her a little bit of movement speed. Uh, a little bit of more movement speed. Now, I need to be a little bit careful as I did get booped back a little farther than I'd like. Friendly team is rotating in to help us, though. Uh, and if I die, it's not the end of the world. Uh, really just watching for the Butcher's engagement here and going to try to counter it as best we can. Uh, kind of hoping he charges me. Uh, but I do have to teleport out of there rather quickly. There you can see a nice... Uh, w helped block some of the damage from the Butcher Charge, and then an E uh, to give our allies the movement speed to get out of there. Although I think I missed my E in that particular instance. Uh, level... Level 7 is going to be a big level for me. Uh, my autos are now going to crit, which means they're going to heal for even more. Uh, trying to get in here to help out my Medivh, if at all possible. Uh, once again, trying to keep an eye on the enemy team's medic's health pool. Uh, if medic's health pool gets low, uh, that's good. I had the butcher's brand on me, so I, I jumped out of there quickly. And we noticed the objective was capped in the top lane, which means Vala is not here. Uh, at least not yet she isn't. She's definitely on her way now. Uh, but that's alright. Get another nice shield off. And do our best to deal damage to this butcher. Because despite us not being the best peeling tank in the world... We definitely are a good damage tank. Yeah, coming out here trying to get on this medic. Butcher put his brand on me so we can run away. Uh, everybody's low on mana, unfortunately, but Nova did get a nice pick. We're, we have all of our sippy cups up by the looks of things, except for a healer. Uh, but with how low that this enemy team keeps getting, we might be able to get something nice done here. Uh, like, at least capture the objective. Gonna get this globe, because as I mentioned before, as the tank player... Uh, it is essential to be getting the globes for your allies. Uh, as you can see, their globes are helping to keep my allies alive a little bit. And just our general peels uh, are very strong as as Tyrael. Not, not peels, but general uh, damage. Nice smite will pick up the final kill there. And trying to take the portal and wasn't quite able to. Going to do our best to uh, hurt this Diablo. And keep our Medivh alive. But it's not looking too good for either me or him. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get this globe here. Q out of there. Probably could re-engage on the, the Chromie if I really wanted to. But I don't really want to. <clears throat> you can see we've already blocked 5k damage just by our W. Uh, and we've healed for 9. Really nice job there by our Li Ming. See, our, our main goal, despite us trying to be in their face, it's been sitting back and letting the Li Ming do her job. Because her she's been doing a great job uh, of everything. Going to go ahead and try to body block this guy a little bit here. Uh, due to the ability that we have very fast movement speed. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, the minions got in the way and blocked our... Or stopped our body block and the damage from our allies. Going to go ahead and get a globe here. Keep me at good mana. 
And I don't think we've had to back once yet, just due to good mana ma management and uh, map control. Had Diablo blocked there for a moment. Gonna go ahead and press W there to block some damage. And we should be winning this fight rather easily here. Uh, with there being two in the top lane. Unfortunately though, our Li Ming just got hit very hard by some abilities. Medic's mana is running low though. Uh, and if... Oh, my crits ran out. Let's see, if Chromie's not careful, she will die. But it looks like we're safe for another moment at least. Uh, objective has been getting capped, unfortunately. But this Chromie should be taken down here. Not quite able to once again, but we at least stopped the objective cap. Debating on my ult, I uh, kind of want to see what the Butcher picks here. A little bit afraid. Okay, I was going to say a little bit afraid of Chromie. Uh, Diablo did go Lightning Breath. I think we're going to go for it just Sanctification, not Judgment. Um, because Sanctification is really good at stopping the Butcher, as well as Temporal Loops. Right here, we should be able to save my ally uh, with, as you can see, a really nice Sanctification. Uh, and that's really Tyrael's, probably in my opinion, his best quality, Sanctification. It's an ability. Try to block any damage here, just with my body. And, and uh, from the Zerg Wave as well, block any damage there. Uh, trying to help out my Medivh, but that is a nano boosted butcher, not nano boosted, stim drone, and I'm gonna get chased down quite easily there. Uh, but we'll get some cooldown reduction by landing our trait, getting some trait value. We will lose our building, but I'm hoping the enemy team without defending top lane, they will lose theirs as well. And unfortunately though, butcher is getting quite stacked with those two, probably three kills here, uh, from the enemy team. We'll run in and try to save our ally, but she'll probably get killed before we can get there, unfortunately. Maybe. She might be fine. Yeah, she's fine. She's fine. So then we'll come down here. Butcher's at uh, 162 on his meat quest. And I think I missed my ability there. Nope, no, nope, I didn't. Oh, I'm trying to save my, my Medivh who... Was that his first death? No, that's his third death. I was going to say, I thought he had his meat or his stacks already. Uh, turns out Medivh did not though. But despite all of this, we've ironically gotten a decent push. Uh, almost equal push in the opposite lane. Uh, and oh, it's almost going to kill the Vala too, so not the worst thing in the world there. Uh, we can live with that, but this is, as I mentioned, whenever Tyrael gets behind, he struggles. He struggles a lot. So what are some counters to Tyrael, right? Uh, well, big counters to him are crowd controlling abilities and blinds, because those two abilities, he has little, t little things that he does to stop that. Uh, crowd control, he has nothing to stop that. And blinds stop his autos. His autos are is what is keeping him in the fight, keeping him uh, pumping out damage numbers and disrupting the backline. He's a very good backline disruptor. Uh, he's good at shutting down some heroes. As you can see, that Butcher got shut down pretty well by us, and the Diablo can get shut down decently by us from time to time. Okay. Um... Not quite sure how I want to play this. It's trying to stick by my allies for an R. Unfortunately, though, they went for the healer and not the Li Ming, who I was expecting them to go for. So we'll just give our allies some movement speed, and we will have to uh, concede in this fight here, it looks like. Uh, maybe not, though. Li Ming's coming out there with some decent damage. Trying to get to my Nova. Oh, she just gets one shot, unfortunately. Might have to use Sanctification here just so we don't get... Just so not more of us die. Uh, not the best use of it, but I felt like I had to use it. Me dying there starts a horrible snowball. And Butcher almost paid for his sins. Uh, not quite, though. Really, really, really going to need our level 13 talent here uh, if we want to win this video game. Uh, grant my allies some protections and try to get in on this Diablo, who unfortunately, though, did get killed for a bunch. We'll take the, the portal to live and trying to press W. Uh, giving our allies some movement speed and I will actually I'll show my face on this enemy team just so I can back out with a nice uh, Q that is one good thing about Tyrael. He has very good uh, not not very good, but decent like trickery Similar to Samro uh, one of his better qualities is he can trick enemies into thinking he's gonna go left, but then he actually goes right and uh, Having that on a tank can be super good but similar to Samro he doesn't have the damage or 
his other numbers lack. So he's definitely a very fun, jumpy tank to play, but his other numbers are not as good because of that. Unfortunately, I'm the I've soaked the most this game, and I've been uh, not soaking whatsoever. Hoping to get level 13 here so we can pick up Holy Ground, uh, which is, as I mentioned before, going to be one of our biggest talents here. Going to try and protect my ally there a little bit, hoping for a Medivh portal uh, to come out and save me. Don't, doesn't look like I'll get it. Friendly team has perished. We're going to just press B in the bush uh, for damage control reasons. Once again, my, my positioning hasn't been the best. Uh, and it's costed my allies at least once there, uh, just due to the fact that I wasn't, uh, what's the word? Wasn't in position for a good sanctification save. Gonna try to stop this, uh, push a little bit here in the bottom lane. And then whenever this fort dies, I gotta group up with my team. So we're just gonna try to kill one more wave. Hopefully friendly team will be fine until then. There we go. And we are a little bit low on mana, unfortunately. That is one that problem Tyrrell tends to have, is a mana problem. And unfortunately, our allies are getting picked out of position there uh, just a little bit. Uh, we're going to try to save her with a little bit of a holy ground. Not the best holy ground ever, but that combined with Medivh's peels, and we were able to successfully save an ally. Uh, Diablo coming in here, and we do need to be careful because... Oh, no, because Butcher and Stim Drone's coming out. Uh, I need to be super duper careful because I don't even survive him. Uh, and I think it's honestly worth it for me to just back out. Back out. We can give the building. As long as our core doesn't die, the game is still winnable. Uh, waiting for Butcher to, to charge an ally. There it is. And we'll try to boop him away. Uh, barely, barely catching Medivh in my sanctification there to keep him alive at least a half second longer. Uh, but it doesn't look like that'll be enough. And... Uh, as our core slowly, slowly flutters away, uh, so does this game. So, not the best showcase of Tyrael, but you have the general gist of how to play him. Is you're kind of spamming out W uh, to protect your allies whenever possible. Looking for good timings on your ult. And trying to be in the backline as much as possible. So, you really... The more favored matchups for Ethereal is to have an Illidan. If I had the Butcher that game, it would have been much better. Uh, rather than me having a Li Ming Nova Mediv, who are not going to be in my in there with me at all. Tarana is not a bad healer, especially if she goes for... Uh, oh, what's the talent at level 4? Mark of Mending. Um, but... Yeah, you can see Tyrael... So he lacks wave clear. Uh, lacks overall damage in a fight lacks cc so he's definitely not a tank you pick often and he lacks when he's behind but if you need a tank who your whole team comp is about early game snowballing tyriel your guy tyriel loves early game snowball comps um he loves dive comps and like i mentioned before he can work with a sergeant hammer but you'd much rather just have an etc or a blaze uh or some other tank that has good peels to help that sergeant hammer rather than a tyrael but uh that's probably the best showcasing we'll get his tyrael so uh that's about it the talents we went was justice for all at level one into divine vigor at level four purge evil at seven sanctification at 10 and holy ground at 13 uh tyrael does come on the later the game goes uh after level, I'd say probably about 16, he starts to feel a little bit tanky. He starts to level out. And then once you hit level 20, he actually feels like a, a, a decent monster when you're not behind. If he's even, he's okay. If he's ahead, he's a beast. But if he's behind, as you saw there, there wasn't much he could do but run around the map and press W and occasionally press R. Would have picked up Smite, it, Smite the Wicked at level 16 had we made it there. And then I would have also probably gone for... Um, trying to think here probably seal of eldruin at 20 because i love that talent this is the build i go in most of my games as tyriel uh, it's the offensive build uh which i just i like better there is a case for another build here um which is focused around bound by law which lets your q heal you 
um, Swift re re Retribution. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't pronounce that word. Um, where it kind of grants your allies a little bit more movement speed for running away. Holy Ground and Burning Halo. It, it's just a different way to play Tyrael that works well as well. But I always go for the auto attack E talents. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy uh, today's video. I hope you learned a little bit. Today, today's video and I hope you learned a little bit about how to play Tyrael. Um, please let me know down in the comments if you have any questions about him and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.